What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be showing you or going through the thought process of how I made this cinematic video. Now if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it right here so you can guys go check it out. But I'll also put it at the end of this video. But matter of fact, maybe I'll show it right now. So stick around. So the first thing that came to my mind is, what would this vlog be about? Or this cinematic vlog? I wanted it to look cinematic. So I wanted to focus on angles, good lighting, and I wanted to shoot it in 4K60. Now the location I chose is Green Mead Historic Village in Livonia. Now it's a historic village. It has these old sediment looking houses from when Livonia was first founded. And another thing that this location has or have is tons of greenery. Now I wanted a tall grass shot in the open field, but they didn't have that there, or at least not the tall grass. But they did have a garden that we used to do our walkthrough follow shot. And I thought the shot came out really, really good. Now that shot wasn't my idea, it was actually Shannon who was the model in this video and I'm glad she did that and I'm glad she actually was confident enough to give her output because that shot really did work and actually it's one of my favorite shots in this whole vlog. Now other than that we used the whole park for our video and it's a big park so it's one location but we maximized every scene or every angle that we could in that park or at least the angles that I thought looked good and that will give me like some kind of consistency in this video. Now, let's talk about the talent. My talent, Shannon, who is a professional model. I hired her specifically for this cinematic vlog. I did this because I wanted someone who was comfortable and actually really good at poses because I'm not. Me, myself, I wanted to focus on composition, angles, and movement. So I hired Shannon who does this for a living and let me say, I do not regret it because she was amazing. She really made this vlog come alive. Now, since she is a professional model, I paid her. I paid her $100 for this vlog, which was about two hours. Now, do I regret this? No, I look at it as an investment, an investment in my business because I needed that shooting experience so I can get better. It takes money to make money. So if you're scared to invest in yourself, then honestly, you're in the wrong field. Now let's talk about the gear and the frame rates. I use my Fujifilm X-T4, my Vilshark 33mm f1.4, and my ZU Weeble S. I love this gimbal. I'm more than happy with my investment on this gimbal because it really does what I need it to and it's so small and compact that it's easy to take anywhere. Now my previous gimbal was the original ZU Crane which was the version 2 and that gimbal seriously had problems especially when it came to weight and the Weeble S is just light years ahead of what that gimbal was and I'm so happy I made that purchase. Now like I said earlier I shot this in 4k 60 frames per second and then when I got into post I slowed it down by 60% which went down to 24 frames per second. Now let's talk about picture profiles. I shot this cinematic vlog in a Turner at 200 megabits per second. Eterna is a very cinematic film simulation that Fuji put inside their cameras. This film simulation actually mimics or recreates the Hollywood cinematic look that you see in a lot of Hollywood films. Now when I took this into DaVinci Resolve to edit, I actually put a light to moderate color grade over all my clips and it came out amazing. Now Eterna is a film simulation that shoots straight out of camera. As long as you got your white balance and your colors right, you're gonna have an amazing looking image straight out of camera. This will let you get the look you want before you ever hit the shutter button and then when you get into post, you can just tweak it a bit. Now the reason I didn't shoot this in F-Log is because I'm getting into wedding filmmaking and I do have a wedding coming up soon. Now with weddings, I will only shoot those straight out of camera. I will not shoot any in F-Log. And the reason is because I'm dialing in my look straight out of camera. And the reason is because I don't want to waste time color grading my footage and having to match every shot in camera when I could just shoot everything straight out of camera and also have a very fast turnaround time where I can deliver my project within two to four or even eight weeks. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic vlog. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. But before you go, Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Peace.